All right. Transforming quadratics. Now, you guys were supposed to look at this stuff yesterday. And when you guys did, it looked like they had three separate equations, but these are all really the same equation with different ways to affect it or graph it. Specifically, this is what they would all look like if we put them together in an equation. And each of these unknown variables, our a, h, and k, do something different to the parabola or the quadratic, depending on what you want to call it. Okay? What we're going to focus on in this one, and we're going to do three separate videos, and we're going to focus on vertical translations. And just by the color, which variable do you think we're talking about? Whoops, I did the wrong color. Should be in green. K, very good. Vertical translations, I call it. Okay, so we're going to be looking at our k value here. We're going to just look at it alone with our x squared. So I'll go into our program here. This is what our normal parabola looks like, if you guys recall. The vertex is at zero. We go over one square it, over one square it, over two, up four. You may not remember that. We're going to get into how to graph that specifically. But today I want us to just focus on the patterns. So the very first one, I'm going to do x to the power of 2. I'm going to do when k is the value of 0. So plus 0. Was there any change? No. Uh, no, nothing has happened. So what that really means is our original one, this one really here, is actually x squared plus 0. Okay? That's what it actually looks like. But we don't need to write 0 in, right? Anything plus 0 doesn't change it. So that's why they don't write the value of 0 in. Let's write a different value. Let's say we go plus 2. Whoops, wrong button. What happened to this parabola? How far up did it go? 2. So it went vertically 2 units up, which is exactly the number we put in. Positive 2 moved us in a positive direction 2 units. Let's try another one. x squared plus, uh, what do you want, 5? Too far, it won't be on the page. 5. What happened to the parabola? It went up 5 units. So, before we make our conclusion, what pattern are we starting to see? It does face upwards. What's happening to the vertex of the parabola? Notice it's the vertex that is moved. The vertex went up 2, or went up 5. We always talk about moving from the original one. So if it's a positive value of some unit, yeah, positive puts us up. Alright? If it's negative, what do we think is going to happen? Probably going to move down. So let's, let's test this. x squared minus 2. Lo and behold, what happened to this graph? The vertex has gone down two units. In other words, the k value... The k value is going to move us in a positive direction if it is positive, and it's going to move us in a negative direction if it is negative. Oh. 